Hello dreamers! Welcome to Moana's Village Inspiration. Today is a big day! We are doing our first ever inspiration video on Dreamers Portal. If you haven't seen Dreamers Portal yet, check out the link in the description. We have a massive DreamSnap library with over 12,000 DreamSnaps in it. And you can hear, uh, you can see here some categories. Uh, basically, there are gallery presets. And one of the presets is always going to be the current challenge inspiration, where you can uh, see what dream snaps other users shared. So that's what we're going to look through today. I'm doing this as a test. I know we always do this on Discord, but I just want to see how it's going to go when we do it on Dreamers Portal. Is the experience going to be different? Uh, which experience is going to be better? In the end, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. For now, I feel like Discord is still going to be superior because Discord uh, has stuff like upvotes, uh, stuff like uh, comments. We're going to have that on Dreamers Portal soon as well. For now, I just want to see how it feels like. Let's get into it. Uh, by the way, here's my submission in case you haven't seen uh, yesterday's stream. I actually managed to do it without spiraling too much, which is kind of... Kind of super cool. It doesn't happen very often, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyway, let's jump right into it and uh, see what you guys came up with. We have music to my ears. I'm very proud of my submission for this week. For this week's challenge, me and Moana are twinning with poses I love. Uh, I love what I'm wearing, the beach outfit set minus the watch. I hate Maui. He always tries to photobomb my dream snaps. So he is not my problem anymore. He is Moana's. I changed my idea and added the Fountain of Youth in the background. Ursula's layer is behind, and I love how things turned out. Uh, I'm curious why <laughs> why are you blocking Moana? You say you are twinning the outfits, but you're kind of intersecting a lot. It would be nice to see both of you side by side. Just, just a little idea. Also, another suggestion, maybe you can zoom in a little bit. Maybe you can organize the items a little bit closer together. So then uh, maybe you can surround yourself with all this, these items, get a little bit closer so you don't have as much of empty sand. But I like the concept. Nicely done. Matthew. Wow, this one is very, very bright. Look at these colors. This is incredible. How did you make it so red? Wait, what color this wallpaper usually is? I did not expect to see indoor submission for this challenge. I'm going to be honest. So this is this is actually very surprising to me, but I like it. It actually looks like a village. It has it looks very solid. I'm impressed. I would not go indoor for this week, but I usually don't go indoor for any week, so I'm not a judge of uh indoor versus outdoor here. I think it's it looks gorgeous. Jade and George Gilbore. You have 14 and 9 eggs, uh, a little bit on the low side. I feel like it's always a good idea to add a couple extra items on the background, just to... Uh, in case tags actually do matter, it couldn't hurt. Uh, I, I know some people have 200 plus tags, which is absolutely crazy, but uh, let's see how it turns out. Let's see, let's see what place they take this week. I love the butterflies. I feel like butterflies, it's something that is just elevates any picture. You can literally use butterflies in any dream snap and it's gonna make it better. My second best ever uh, ranking dream snap had butterflies on it and it was awesome. I love the symmetry of Maui's house, uh, all the decorations, the jades on the floor, so random and yet looks so good. This is nice, I like the open concept. We have Miss Murder, chilling with Moana, having a picnic during the sunset. <laughs> of course, Eric is here, showing Maui how it's done. Show, show them your muscles, boy. It's a very red picture as well. Well, it's not like, it's, it's, just, it's just a filter, I'm assuming, but it's also sunset, so red actually makes a lot of sense. This light... Just wow, I did not realize how good this looks. I kind of want to go back to my to my dream snap it and, and edit. I feel like these lights look so good on the foreground because usually you can't use tall lights on the foreground because they're tall and they're not going to fit into the camera. But these little lights, 
it just adds this nice bright spot that draws your attention straight in. I, I feel like it's a perfect item to use for this challenge, and I regret not using it. Angie Dure! The island of Maui holds a special place in my heart. I went there on my honeymoon, and I'm going back soon for my 25th anniversary. I try to highlight some of the gorgeous foliage there in this dream snap. Wait, that's a real place? Maui's island? I need to go to Disneyland one day. I, I just have to. This, this sounds amazing. Oh, wow. That is so detailed. The plants on the foreground are gorgeous. The, the stones and the path actually look so good. Wow! Awesome outfit, too. And I, 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 can, I considered using Tangled uh, Lanterns, but uh, for some reason, I, in the end, I ended up not using them. But I like the way they look. It does give it a little bit of a Tangled vibe, but I still feel like with a certain images, with a certain lighting, they actually fit really well. Like, this fits... They fit the image so nicely. Nicely done. We have Anna! With... Wow! Absolutely wow! This pose? I have not seen people use this pose. The squirrel pose from behind. In this dress, with this outfit, it just looks so gorgeous. And the hair is beautiful. <laughs> you have a plant growing through your dress. That's kind of... Well, that's normal. Bunch of sparkles. The lighting is gorgeous. That beautiful sunset lighting. I'm... I always struggle to find a good angle so I don't have any shadows in my shot blocking important areas. I don't know how you did this, but you made absolutely perfect sunset lighting. It's very difficult to do. Very difficult to do. With Considering how much stuff you have in your shot, there is no sh distracting shadows. It's incredible. This is... This is a work of art. I love this so much. Cesara! Oh, I love the orb trick. It's a night shot with a filter. It looks so bright. The colors don't look twisted. It looks just right. The lights, the, the green lights just... Wait, are, are they green or are they actually yellow, but the filter makes them look green? There is something so special about the dream snaps that have, like, a little bit of a wild feel to them. Like, if you have a bunch of wild plants as a foreground, it makes the whole dream snap feel like it's, like, you feel very immersed into the scene. This is incredible. Nicely done. Kim Possible. Okay. Haven't seen this one before. Uh, using the island and actually standing in the water. That's a good angle. Fantastic sunset as well. I would say it's a pretty simple submission, but I like how unique it is. It's definitely going to grab people's attention. So I think you're going to do just fine in the voting. Sam Similia. Wow, that blows my mind how bright this is. These colors are... Off the charts! The grass is just so vibrant. Bunch of random plants on the sides, but looks very, very organic. I like how it's not overly cluttered, but there is enough detail to give it like a full look. Like, it, like, like, like you're actually there. It's not just built for a dream snap, but it's an existing place. I love it. Nicely done. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Lady Deadpool. We have almost identical submissions. This is so similar to mine. You also used uh, the jungle clusters behind the Moana's hut. Uh, you have the pool. Do I have the pool? I don't remember now. I feel like I do have the pool. Maybe I did at some point, but then I took it off. Maui's hounds on the... On the okay, maybe they're not identical, but I don't know. I, I get a very similar vibe. Also, using green skin here, 
is a little bit risky, I think, especially with all the sentiment that I've heard recently about uh, monster skin and how people don't like voting for it un unless it's like a monster submission. So I hope it's not going to hurt your uh, rank, but I would love to see how this does because it's a gorgeous submission. The only risky thing here is green skin, but I feel like it fits. I feel like it fits. You look like a spirit of earth, spirit of of a forest. Awesome. Awesome work as usual. Nelvi. Not certain if it will be my final submission, but this is what I came up with so far. Pfft. Why would it not why would it not be a final submission? This looks incredible. Having set near the water and the f waterfall. This looks flawless. Maui there. It it looks flawless. I can't I can't pinpoint a single thing I would change. I I say just submit it and enjoy the rest of your week. This does not need anything changed at all. It's it's fantastic. 10 out of 10. Ronia Ravenbell. I hope I didn't mispronounce your name. I apologize if I did. Let's take a look at the submission. Another one uh, with the island with uh, with lily pads standing in the water. This is a good angle. I want to make one day a submission standing in the water. I don't think I've ever did. I want to do like a cool critter pose inside the water with a beautiful background. It's coming one day. You guys inspire me. You, I, I definitely want to do that at, at some point. Firewoman. Moana's Tiki Bar and Grill. Okay, this is different. This is definitely different. I like how in Dreamer's Portal, you can, uh, if you're looking at a big screen, first of all, you can, if you're on PC, you can get it uh, all blown up to the whole screen, not like in Discord, and you can even zoom in and like uh, look at the details if you want to. That's incredible. Sometimes on Discord, I'm like, I, I want to zoom in, but it doesn't let you to do it on desktop. I think on the phone you can zoom in, but not on desktop. This is so different. This has more of a like a vacation vibe, not less less of a natural vibe, even though there's plenty of greenery in this shot. It does have this like a summer vacation vibe, which I like. Merlin is there to enjoy his time too, and you also got a bar. Scrooge is, Scrooge is taking a break at the bar. Look at this. This is awesome. So much detail. Some people would say it's cluttered. But I like clutter. I, I live for clutter. <laughs> this, is, this is my cup of tea. I would, I would vote for this. Absolutely incredible. Elsa. On Switch. I still don't understand how you guys make such such cool submissions on Switch. You have a little... I think it's kind of a market vibe. What? You have used the, uh, the, the Big Hero 6 uh, tool set as a board decoration? I have never seen this, but it actually looks... Like, it, it takes a while to even realize what it is. It just adds nice little texture to the board. That's awesome. <laughs> also love a bunch of candles on the top here. Uh, this is such a cool touch. Nicely done, Elsa. April Robinson. Preparing for village feast with Maui. Moana was busy being stuck in the house. <laughs> yeah, my Moana... I don't know what happened. When I was doing my dream snap, I could not find Moana. And also, like, I had to go all the way to Eternity Isle, but by that time I already had everything set up, so I just decided to not include her in my shot. Plus, I have Eric, so Eric is better than Moana, for sure. Love the love the close-up on the, on the little picnic area. I like shots that have, like, if, if you can pull off a cool close-up, I think you're gonna do very well. You just need to pick an item that usually people don't expect very closely and use it in a close-up. And the shot is going to look phenomenal. And I think you nailed that look here. This this lunch table 
just looks so detailed and it looks perfect as the center of the shot. We have Dara! Let's see what Dara got up to this week. Okay, okay, you're also using Picnic uh, close by. You have a little of a beach area. I love this bench here. It looks like kind of like a fence. I don't know if you were going for a fence look, but it kind of has a fence look. I do not see Moana or her house anywhere, though. I feel like maybe maybe it, it's not going to hurt to add her house maybe like far away at least here so you can at least see it. So you know it's Moana's village or here, like maybe add it somewhere. Unless I'm completely blind. But I do love the composition. It looks very cozy. Well done. Heather! This dream snap is inspired by Moana's journey of water attraction at Epcot and Disney World. I wanted a lot of uh, water features and I dressed my character as Tefiti. Oh, wait, wait. I It's been a while since I watched Moana. That's why green skin. Sorry, I might have... Wait, oh my... I did not remember this at all. I, uh, for some reason, I completely forgot this moment. It was there, there was a green goddess like this. That's why Lady Deadpool and you using green skin. Okay, I take it back. It does make sense here. If you know the reference. If you're if you're dummy like me, <laughs> just kidding. But seriously, if you if it's been a while uh, since you watched Moana, you might not recognize the reference. But wow, what a use of of the pond in the corner. This is absolutely stunning. And you have the moon too. Wow, so much detail. Ooh, look at this de look at this floor here. This is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And a waterfall. S how long did it take? You have a lot of water features here. I'm blown away. Cozy uh, cookier. What a vibe. Whoa. Okay, you pulled off this filter. It's not easy to do. It's very rare, in my opinion, to pull off this filter. And you did it flawlessly. The moon, just such a nice touch as well. Wow. This is incredible. Such a different vibe, too. I hope you do very well. I hope all of you guys do very well, because your submissions are awesome. Sonia, Angela! Oh, that's why you've been telling me to use tents. That is crazy. That is crazy. Love the Moana in the foreground, all the details. And look at these tags! 200! <laughs> you, you put literally every possible item that matches the tag in the background. I just did not have patience for this. I, I, I need to see if you get the first place with this amount of tags. This is awesome. Wow, Juliana, I'm fairly pleased how the snap turned out. The turtle is my favorite part. Oh yeah, that turtle is... Is that... It, it, was it your companion or not? It looks like... It loves the spotlight. This one has such a different vibe. It has more of a... Like a fairy forest. Like a... Like a dreamlight forest vibe. But instead of trees, you have palm trees and coconuts. And uh, Moana's... Uh, house instead of the purple cottage. But it's, it's just such a cool vibe. I love it. Marta! What are the colors? I'm sorry for the photo. It was my first try and I liked it so much that I didn't want to change. And on Switch, when closed, there is no way to get the photo. Well, technically, there is a way. You can uh, take a screenshot of your screen and then share the screenshot of your screen like you would share the photo. But it's still it's still good. We can we can see all the details. I love how blue it looks, but I wonder if it only looks this blue because it's a photo. Yeah, it's really hard to to see like the real colors. 
when it's a photo. But I love the composition. I love how simple it is, and yet it tells the full story. It doesn't feel like it's missing anything. Paula Morales. I put so much effort into this. I love how it looks. Hope I can get in high rank. Okay, first tip right away. Get those tags up. You have one of the tags literally at minimum. I feel like it's it's very dangerous. You would you want to have at least a couple tags over the minimum just in case because there is a rumor that some items just don't calculate correctly or something like that. So if if it says 5 out of 5 in the final calculations, it might actually be 3 out of 5 because two items didn't count for one reason or the other. So it's it's always like once again, these are just rumors, but it's always a good idea to go above the minimum at least by a couple of items the more the better and in outdoor challenges it's pretty easy to hide a bunch of items that have tags so you can just go into the into the furniture collection uh click on the the, the link with the items that match the current tags and then select the smallest ones start with the smallest ones and just stick them around your shot where they're not going to be visible they're gonna up your tags significantly without changing your look at all and give you the full potential to reach uh, as high placement as possible. Once again, these are all rumors, and it might not matter at all, but it is super easy to do. It doesn't cost anything, and for, on, on an off chance that it actually helps, why not do it, right? I love the vibe. You have like a little spa area here. It feels like a very detailed, very well thought out shot. I love it too. I think you did a great job. We have Joy. I love the co How is this so... This image, the quality of this image is off the charts. It's so sharp. I bet it's PS5. Look at the detail, look how... De wow, and the colors are so great as well. That looks solid. This actually looks like a Moana city because you have proper streets and benches and street lights. I love this. Love the carousel on the back. That is such a such a different vibe to it. You went for more of a city look, which is totally fine. Totally fits the theme in my opinion and definitely going to help it stand out, hopefully. Nicely done. Okay, guys. I think I think this is all I got for you for today. It, it's a pretty long video. We have over 150 submissions here already for Moana's Village. So if you want to go check it out, if you want to go get inspired and see every single submission that we have here, I just cannot physically review every single one, but they all look absolutely incredible. So definitely go check it out. The link is in the description. In the next update, there is going to be an ability to leave likes to... Uh, you, you could basically give likes to your favorite submissions and even leave comments that's all coming very soon. So go check out Dreamers Portal if you haven't yet. Uh, be uh, in the first 2,000 users, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we'll grow much higher than that at some point. And thank you so much, everybody, for supporting this channel. Thank you for making this possible. And uh, thank you for inspiring the entire community. You guys are doing a great job. I definitely got inspired for my Dream Snap from looking at some of the submissions on the portal uh it's it's incredible so many different ideas even though the theme seems like it's pretty pretty obvious what what needs to be there but people still find a way to add some creative twists to it and that's just that's just there's just so much fun just go into the dream snap library and just scroll and see what people are up to by the way i did fix a bunch of bugs today i did push a little update uh, to the website there was a bug where sometimes when you sort and then filter some of the results uh, on the top will stick from a previous search that don't belong to the current filters. So that was fixed. Now the filtering should be flawless without any issues. Also, I fixed the issue where uh, when you open up the gallery and try to scroll, like just go right or left. Before, if you did some sorting or filtering, it would not... Uh, basically, the order of the gallery would be all messed up, but now it should reflect whatever order the actual submissions are in the gallery. So fixing fixing more and more bugs every day. The site becomes more stable every day. But if you find a bug, please use leave feedback feature on the website or our Discord 
to uh, to let me know so I can fix it as soon as possible. A lot of bugs have been reported and now fixed, making it a better experience for everyone. Thank you for watching. A wonderful day and goodbye.